Uh, what's up YouTube? This is Pro Treats here. I'm going to show you today how to set up a light on 93450 C drive. That's the brand new one that is quote unquote unmoddable because it's impossible to dump the firmware. Well, not impossible, but impossible without doing some soldering work. So I'm just going to show you uh, first. This is the drive that I'm talking about right here. Let's see if I can get a good shot of this. That's it right there. And as you can see, I've taken it apart and I've got it gutted. I took the control board out of the bottom. These little wires here are actually soldered on. I just took a picture of it. I uh, took a picture of their positions on the board um, and then I you know, heated them up and took them off of there so it's separated. Make sure you take a picture of it though ahead of time just so you know exactly where those wires are gonna go because I, you know, it really sucked to not remember. Um, then you're left with this guy here. This is the control board. This looks familiar to everybody. You know, you plug in your your power and your serial ATA here. So on the underside of it is where we're going to be doing our work. And what I've done here, you can use all the lem line. I think they're called lem line brushes or whatever. But actually, what I used is I used an abrasive Scotch pad, uh, uh, like a uh, sponge, a Scotch sponge. Uh, the green, you know, the, with the green the scrubby side and the yellow. Uh, soft side and uh, just wet it in a little bit with actual rubbing alcohol and I just uh, rubbed on this for a while to expose all that and um, you don't have to expose all of it but just a good square of it here is where we're going to be working and this actually makes it a lot better for soldering now as you can see there it's uh, you know, a nice smooth surface and I'm actually going to do the soldering work on this and then I'm going to start the video back up and I'll show you exactly what it looks like and uh, kind of walk you through what you need to do, but I'm going to get to work on this now. I just wanted to show you what it looked like before I started. So, be back with you in just a few minutes. Alright guys, uh, I'm just going to show you now what this needs to look like. Let me get a good shot here. There's the focus. Alright, you can see what I did here. Let me just get my little pointer. <clears throat> Alright, you need to have three cuts. You need to have a cut right here. You have a cut right here. And also a cut right there. And then you can see real, if I get this real close, you can see exactly where all the solder needs to go. This is a ground up here. And then these are all just little going to be little contacts for our wires to hook up to. And I'm going to show you that in just a second. So now I'm going to shut the video off again, hook up all the wires, and then I'll show you again exactly what this needs to look like. So hopefully I'm being pretty clear on this. All right, guys, I just want to show you what I've got here. I've got this nice and zoomed in so you can see it. Uh, what we've got first is uh, up here is the ground. Uh, this little spot up here, and then that runs off to the 22 ohm capacitor or, uh, resistor. Rather, um, we have the cut. Uh, we have the cuts here and here, and then this little guy runs on the outside of both of those cuts. Um, in the middle of that, we have this cable that runs back to the um, switch, and you can see we have this patching from here to here. And that's pretty much what you need to have. Let me just back it up so you can see the whole thing. That's what it needs to look like. Let me just zoom in on this again so you can see it real good. And There we go. Just make sure you get that right. I'm going to attach a, um, a diagram to this as well, a link to a picture that will show that same thing. Okay. Next thing I'm going to show you also is make sure that you get these right again. If you disconnected your... Uh, let me put this back up here. If you decided to disconnect these little uh, cables, 
these little wires from these here, from this. Make sure you get them back in the right order, and that's what that should look like. Should go yellow, yellow, white, white, red, black, like that. And that's what we're left with. So you can follow uh, what's his name, uh, Pastor Tom's uh, tutorial on getting that to work. I'm just basically showing you how to do this, um, how to make this right, so that you can do it. Because when you start his tutorial, it basically, you know, he's already got this done, and I think that this was reasonably challenging. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this drive modified and I'll let you know how it goes. And then obviously we're going to have to mop up after this, clean this up, uh, and I'm going to show you then how to uh, how to do that as well and what that should look like when you're done. So good luck, and uh, I have one more segment to this video that I'll be right with you later. So. All right, guys, this will be the final segment here. Uh, first thing I want to show you is what this board is supposed to look like when you guys clean it up properly. Let's get this in front of here. That's what it should look like. So you can see I cleaned up most of the solder. Cleaned it up over here where the uh, ground was. Now to clean this up, you want to use this stuff. Let's say, uh, here, let me see if I can do this. <clears throat> It's a soldering braid, you get it at a soldering braid rather, you get it at a radio shack. And basically you just put the so tip of the soldering iron over the braid and then rub it over the solder and it'll soak it up. Alright, let me see if I can get you a better view of what I did here. You can see I, uh, I patched these traces. See? And just patch them up just so they're all connected the way they were when you started. It might not, but mine doesn't look as pretty as some of the other professional types, but it's it, it's good. It should work fine. And the way that I did that um, patching is I took stranded cable. Uh, this is stranded cable right here. I'm um, stranded, meaning that it's got little like little strands in it versus it being one solid piece like the stuff I like this stuff. This is solid cable right here. If you can see that, it's one solid piece. One solid piece of copper in there versus a bunch of strands. So if you cut a piece of that stranded cable, what you're left with is like this. And what you'll do with those is you'll, you know, take three of those, you know, three or four of those, and you, you wind them up in your fingers. I started doing one right here, as you can see. And then uh, you put it between two alligator clips, um, and you you solder it. Basically, you, you you soak some solder in there, and that's what you're seeing right there. Is that stranded cable that's wound up? If I can get a zoom here. There it is. It's a stranded cable that's wound up, and then has some solder uh, solder soaked into it. And then I uh, you know snip the ends off and. You apply little dots of solder, obviously, to the board beforehand, just so you get a little prep there, and then, uh, you know, it's, it's pretty easy, and that's the way that it should look uh, when you're all done, just like that. Uh, I did the mod and everything. I'll, I'll do a pretty good description on it. I'll try to, and hopefully this helped you guys out a little bit, uh, just so you could see it. Uh, obviously, this is good. It goes good with the other video I mentioned, but uh, hopefully this will help you out. Leave comments. Let me know what you think. Good luck.